call this meeting of the Nicholas County Parks and Recreation Commission to order. Today is Thursday, February, that's actually wrong, supposed to say 17th of uh, 2022, and it is 6.06 p.m. Uh, first uh, order of business is the approval of the minutes. If anyone has uh, any amendments to those, if you present those at this time. Hearing now is there a motion to approve the minutes as presented? Motion's on four, is there a second? Second. There's a second. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those against? The motion does carry. Uh, up next, we have a public comment period. I don't know if you all wanted to uh, wait till we'll do business or not, because I know you've got the family with you, so I didn't know if you want. No, 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 that's fine, but I didn't know if you wanted to take care of this now or later. It's up. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, the Yeah. We're Darian, you can hear it, and we're with the Nicholas County Soccer Board. So we were just coming to talk about the May 7th tournament that we have here to try and be allowed to use the park and to have food vendors, food trucks. That one tournament brings a lot of business into the county just for that one day. And we had 50 some teams our last tournament. You could drive by the motels coming in, the motels was full and everything else just for I mean just for one day. What day is it? May seventh. I mean we have over two thousand people at this tournament. We have teams coming from last time from come up with the Elkins and from all over. Fairmont. So I mean the kids really look forward to using the food vendors and stuff. It's, unique foods and stuff that they don't typically get from the concession stands and stuff. So it's just a variety. So we would just like to be able to, to use the park and to be allowed to use the food trucks. This is something new that we've used over the past few years. And it's, it's, and it's been, been a big hit. That's what a lot of the teams has come. So, you know, that's not an experience they get at other tournaments. It's just here they get that experience of having the food trucks and the tournament and everything. So, in a way to spare them, you know, waiting for a meeting here and everything else, what I'd like to do is ask for a motion to amend the agenda and actually move new business right after public comments so we can discuss this uh, and see if we need to take any action or anything. Is that okay with everybody? And if so, is there a motion? I'll make the motion. Second. Motion's on the floor and seconded. All those in favor, say the five, saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. All those against? The motion does carry. So, new business will become the fourth uh, agenda item. Um, yeah, so. Uh, I've, I've talked to both sides. Um, it seems to me this has been an ongoing conflict in the schedules, and I understand you know, where both the Little League and the soccer are coming from. Um, this this is basically just a one-day tournament. Just a one-day one tournament. And how long has it been going on? For years. Yeah. <laughs> Since Five at least 2013. Years. Okay. Okay, so we will strike fields on the day before. So that Friday we'll strike fields. I mean, that, that won't affect nothing. Then we'll have the tournament on Saturday, and then everything will be done and gone. Okay. Now, little leap. <laughs> uh, so, so what? What I know that you, you know, you all talk to the board and, and between one another. You know, what's your all's position? Um, well, what we came up with is that we would have the concession that day, um, and we would give the soccer 10% of our concession. Then, you know, they talked back and forth a little bit about taking our portable fences down. So if we had to take down the portable fences, we wanted to just give them 5% because that would take our, our time uh, to do that. and. Um, another thing that the league talked about was if the soccer used the football stadium, that they could have a concession there, so we kind of have one on both sides of the park. We must usually have three to food vend three to four vendors set up, and they have a hard time keeping up with three to four vendors with the amount of people there that flows into them. I don't see the little league being able to keep up with. The only, only the only person being there. We're not saying the little league can't not do it. We're saying they can do their concession, but we still want to have the food trucks there to be able to accommodate everybody. The food trucks last year did sell out. Yeah, they sold out, and there was line after line of, of people there, and there was people that even come from 
town out here just to get funnel cakes and stuff. They said, we heard you guys had funnel cakes out here. Right. And there were people driving out here just to get that stuff. They had no one playing funnel cakes. Yeah, they had no one. Guy was like, I don't even got kids out here. He's like, I just heard there's funnel cakes out here. I don't want to come and get them. So it's a big thing. And, and, and I talked four or five times with board president uh, Shields of Little League. And, and, you know, I mean, they are they are losing four to ten games. He just didn't know because of weather and the way the schedule worked out. Um, which, of course, their number of games does do. So, I mean, I, I, I see where both sides are coming from. Um, I do. I'd like to really see if we can work this out. But there's no way that both sports can play at the same time. Hmm. I mean, we have to have. We've got to have everything for parking. I mean, there's yeah. parking is an issue with it. I mean, with that amount of people that's here. Like I said, we're just asking for one day. Well, as Aaron said, they're willing to give the day up, but they're wanting basically sole concessions. Yeah. For the day. Sole concessions. Mm -hmm. Right. At, at the park. At the park. I, I had a friend that was involved in that last year, and I know she, because she's part of the fair, and we deal with vendors. She was telling me then, and she's like, oh my gosh, I, I, we've been off one week too because there's no way we could feed everybody that came here. We just, there wasn't enough. <coughs> I know one, I think even, she heard him making a phone call back to home, and he said, just bring me something, I don't care what it is, we're, we're out of everything. Yeah. We have nothing to feed people. Um, and when we talk about this, I don't know that at our meeting, I don't know that all the board members know exactly how many people are going to be there that day. So, with knowing that, we might want to go back and. <coughs> well, could you again. do a compromise in that maybe they won't get vendors that sell the same food you all do? That way, there's option. You know, there's four or five different options. You all won't sell funnel cakes if they get a funnel cake vendor. You, you know, they you won't have two people selling hot dogs, two people selling nachos. You know, you know what I'm saying. You think you could? That would be a compromise you could work out. I, th I mean, I can. You know, I can. What if um, you guys took the fence down and the soccer didn't take anything from Little League, but we still had our vendors? Yeah, they work. Say that again. I'm sorry. If um, we went ahead and had the vendors for soccer, and then Little League takes the temporary fence down and keeps all their money from that day, and doesn't get soccer anything. And then we're still allowed to have our food trucks come in. Keeps all their money from the day. Yeah, they keep all well, the concession. They do concession, keep all their money from the concession, and take so the fence down. Don't give you any percentage. Yeah, take the fence down and do our concession. Yeah, right. and then the concession, the take the fence down, and you guys keep all your money for the day. And we still get our food trucks. Because didn't you tell me earlier that, I mean, this is larger than what Shawnee Park puts on the Charles? Yes, this is the biggest rec tournament in the state. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I mean, one thing we do need to be mindful of, and I know y'all probably think main gears going back and forth, but I mean, but, you know, this is during the leagues, mm -hmm. leagues. Mm -hmm. You know, so we do need to be mindful and, and, and try and get a resolution on both sides. Well, um, you know, if I would take that back to the board and we can vote on it. I mean, we can do that before our next meeting. We can just vote on it through text. What do you think? I mean, I think that would be fair. I think it would be fair. And then everybody gets both what they want. Right. So soccer, well, okay, let me start with soccer. Soccer, when do you need a definite answer to really schedule all this, especially with your food vendors? How soon would you as soon as possible. Uh, we can just, our meeting is on the 27th, our next meeting. But I mean, if there's something I need to. Because, I mean, we're already looking at looking vendors. Vendors. <laughs> yeah. We I mean, don't want it to sound like we're already. But I mean, as soon as possible. We can vote through it. I mean, we, I can text everyone tonight and so they can vote on it as soon as they can. So, to my understanding before, and Joey, correct me if I'm wrong. One time before this was a, it was a conflict, and soccer actually paid Little League a certain amount as a lease, and just said, "Hey, you know, we'll compensate you for losing the day." That's yeah, we, we did that once. Yeah. 
I think I think yes. may not you. Somebody said that they paid like two hundred fifty bucks for the day mm -hmm. to try and compensate to. Because yeah. I mean, really, you know, that might be all you profit out of a concession stand anyway. So maybe that's just another option for your board to just to consider if that's you know just flat the. I mean, that's something. Even the, just a fee for taking the fence down, whatever it would be. I mean, we'd be willing to do that. Okay. With the fence out of the way, it, it opens up options for two more fields yeah. to be striped here. And in order for that amount of teams we have, we have to have... We're playing the, from daylight to dark yeah. anyway to get the games in because we have so many games. Yeah, that kind of is going to cut us off of three days. One day, you know, like Friday, we got to take the fence down. Saturday, Saturday down, and then Sunday, and then Sunday, Sunday, Sunday back up. Yeah. But you guys can also make up your games through the week to where... We're stuck to a weekend with it, and that's because you can't get 50 teams in in one evening, you know what I mean? Right. It's nice. 
Depends on how Kids need the experience. <laughs> <laughs> So if you did you have you given those dates to Sally or if you can March 14th. She's the lady right there. Yeah. It'd be March 14th. And the season end? The end of May. May 31st. It'd be the last Saturday in May, whatever that is. Yeah, on the camp. Right? Yes. Okay. The May the twenty eighth. Be the last Saturday in May. Twenty eighth. That should be it. That's Memorial Day weekend. And we had talked about the same rate as whatever the fall season is. I can't yes. remember. I was yeah. thinking 1900 or something. That's like that. 900, 1900. There's a 9 in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's it. Yeah. So you want know, the 28th or the 31st? The 28th is fine. Okay. Aaron, to give you all some time, if we could maybe get a decision back from Little League about Tuesday next week, okay. then that way. Just so we can make sure everybody gets wrong with this. So how many people, just so I can let them know that you all usually have here at the event? Oh, I heard you all. Yes. Because that's a lot of people. Like, so the, the food vendors last year couldn't keep up. There was lines backed up. They ran out of food. Yeah, and we don't want that to happen. No. <laughs> so. yeah, I mean, it could be more this season until we know. Yeah. The more fields we out. have, the more teams we can. Because we turned people down for it. Yeah, because we didn't have enough time and field. If the, the stadium's going to be one of the big things that decides how many teams we can get in here. Right. Do you need a list for vendors? Do you need more vendors? You have some? I do. Yeah. She's the fair board. Because I think we used to be playing last yeah, year at like 8 30, 9 o'clock at night. We started at 8 o'clock in the morning. Are you all going to have your own concession or is no. it just no. the no. Okay. So that doing a concession at the football stadium is not really an option. That was um, the band that did that before. The man yes. does that, right? And we're this board property, and like Dave Shields and I talked to him, you know. He said he was okay with it because, you know, we don't really know really having control over it anyway. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, if you talk to the board, it might you won't do it. I mean, I you could have options, but you just have to run that through the board. Board of that. Anything else on that matter? No. The term is one <laughs> Yeah, so so like I say, by Tuesday next week, hopefully we'll have an answer. Okay. Figure okay. something out from there. Appreciate you all coming in. All right, welcome to stay. But like I say, I know you got family and everything else, so I understand that. Too. Sorry about that. No, 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 no. no problem. That's what this whole park's supposed to be about, is the kids. Exactly right. That's what we all got to remember. The name ain't made a sound, so. <laughs> well, you never know what we're in there. It's the she's getting your list. Yes. Call me or, or look me up on Facebook, either one. You're welcome to welcome over here. Thank you. Thank you. So, elsewhere in new business, um, Amy, if we want to talk about, we want to make a request. Oh, well, I you. you okay, know. you want me to talk about it. the first okay, one, because yeah. I kind of so, knocked out one line. <laughs> and, and if it's okay, I'll start with the poll. Um, I actually approached the mayor and said, hey, you know, we're going to apply for uh, the city grant for the pool, right? Because, I mean, you know, they have their own facilities in the works, and the only thing they don't have planned so far that I know of is a pool. So I thought, well, that'd be a good, a good applicant. And uh, we talked, and I guess that the way the city is getting so many requests that um, they don't want to double fund organizations uh, best they can, I guess, for lack of better work. And so what that means is the pool, because 10000 already comes from the city towards the pool every year, and then with 4-H, that part of the money that comes from the city of the park every year benefits 4-H, that neither organization or entity is necessarily eligible. And so that's why, uh, Tim and Mary, that's why I canceled the uh, pool committee meeting. Um, this, we really can't apply. Right now for this grant, we just can't look for some other options. And, and that's why I mentioned that you, before the meeting. Um, I understand where they're coming from. Uh, Hate to see it, but you know we'll make do. We'll find other options later. We can't apply for any project here because the funds come to the park. I would have to say that I would interpret that 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 would be a double funding situation. Mm -hmm. So probably not. Probably not. Which of course we have a community foundation, state and federal grants. Um, you have that one to give me a copy of to take to. Uh, and then the leprechaun. So we, we do have options. Uh, we do have options. Just 
not necessarily as easy of one as we thought we might. Um, anything else on new business? I'm trying to keep this under two hours today <laughs> for everybody's sake. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about some park upgrades and stuff. But Sally, I wanted you to touch on that first and then we can elaborate from there. So if we can, let's go back to the agenda. Up next, we actually have the finance report. Uh, the treasurer, uh, Terry Campbell, she was out sick. And so, Sally, if you wouldn't mind to explain the finance report, please. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Total income for the month has been um, $18,393.62, and that is because we got our third quarter from County Commission, um, plus rentals. And um, total expenses were $10,000, um, We have, in our general fund at First Community is $20,056.13. The pool has $208.25. In our United Bank general account, we have $13,685.01. The pool has $418.49. Um, have all the payments out of the first meeting bank been taken care of now? All but one for $100. One of the Christmas items. If you could push to have that done, and then once that one clears, yeah, I talked uh, to her yesterday. Do the she, transfer. Said she would call me as soon as she got the money. Okay. They had a little snafu. Okay. okay. If that doesn't happen in the next couple of days, if you wouldn't mind, circle back on that. Okay. And then we can <coughs> completely transfer to United. One less bank you have to worry about. Um, are there any questions on the finance report? Here, United, there's a motion to approve as presented. Seven. Motion and a second. Um, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those against? The motion doesn't care. Up next, we have the committee reports. Uh, <coughs> of course, the full committee did not meet. Um, I'm going to any other committee reports that should be at this time, so we'll go forward next to the manager's report. Garrett. Yes, ma'am. Who made that motion? Two. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't hear. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, a couple of pages this time. Just kind of keeping you all in the loop of everything that's going on. We had contacted uh, Rat Sign about touching up the sign, the big sign in front of the dining hall. It says Veterans Memorial Park. It's in really bad shape. It's falling apart. It's coming loose. Um, he said he could touch it up or he could replace it completely. Make another one exactly the same, only better, better materials that will run out like the wood for four hundred fifty dollars. Um, like I said in the finance report, we received the third quarter payment from the county commission. <clears throat> Motor went out in the furnace in here. <laughs> so, um, we had to get a hold of in here in, uh -huh. in the building. We had to get a hold of Accuair. So of course, you know, it'd been off a couple of days. Time they got here, turned it on, it worked fast. Next morning it was gone. So I called my guess it's not working yet. This time it wasn't working when they come, so they said we're going to fix it. That cost us four hundred and fifty dollars and fifty cents. Um, I wanted to bring up the adopt a cabin. Um, I know a few people had said that they would get some people to do it. Um, and one of the gentlemen, well, one of the businesses that come up and gave me an estimate for the 4-H would like to adopt Craigsville cabin for a plaque or a sign, and they they would do the floor, the whole inside, we do the whole bathroom, fix the floors for a sign. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's going to, his plans were to put flashing on the outside. Um, he said he painted, if he wanted to paint it inside, he's going to sand the floors and just clear coat them. The ceiling, he's going to fix, sand it, clear coat it, new bathroom. Oh, for that. So I told him I would bring it to you guys. Now is that total expense assumed by him or he? Yes. Okay. Where does he want the sign to be? Well, I'm, I told him that they said they would put up signs for it. Okay. I was guessing on each cabin would be a plaque okay. or something. That we would just leave there. <laughs> 
Probably, maybe on the side, on the side towards the Red Barn would be. You could see it better. Probably. But yeah, I don't mean, That's his. Yeah. We gladly advertise for him. He come in. Yeah, sure. Sure enough, they advertise for wherever he wants. It. <laughs> um, but I haven't got back any from any other board member about cabins. So. I haven't found anybody yet. Okay. Um, well, I'm still asking around too. Um. You want to talk about the square now or later? Uh, yeah, the pool um, first approached me on using Square, which is the software used like restaurant stuff like that, uh, for payment collection. Uh, we have a PayPal account, but you know, that's kind of getting a little bit antiquated. You know, Square, I mean, I use from my own company. You can have a plug in on an iPad, plug in on a cell phone, um, whatever. You can send invoices, text, uh, payment links, stuff like that. You know, it's all secure. Um, and then for Sally with the uh, rentals of the picnic shelter, stuff like that, she can even input how much cash is in and everything. And so she has that as a record on top of the QuickBooks record. And I think it's a pretty good thing. It's just a small rate uh, per transaction. Uh, so I, I think that's a pretty good thing. And Sally approached me here uh, within the last week to also consider this. And so uh, maybe. Uh, Maybe we need to revisit some new business <laughs> here in a minute to address some of your stuff here. Right, yeah. yeah. So I think that would be a good thing. Like I say, it's just a, uh, like 1.2% on each transaction or something like that. It's taken off automatically. And then they transfer to you the rest on the next business day. Um, if a simple guy like me works pretty good for me, you know, I'm pretty sure Sally would, would do very well with it and, and help her with her account. So. Okay. Um, we uh, had to get a refrigerator for the kitchenette in the office because the other one died. <laughs> Got a real nice one from Walmart. Uh, dining room. We've been in there for quite a while, but cracks and holes and crevices are all fixed. It's been painted. The trim work's been painted. Um, I think we have to put a coat on the, the entryway trim work. For it to be done. We're going to go in tomorrow, clean, try to get everything cleaned and set up. Well, that, so I, said, I said we're down to just the trim and the entry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> sorry. Yes. I was a deep so anyway, talking second. Um, we'll start cleaning and everything set back up tomorrow. And there's there's some touch ups in the kitchen. Where the, you know. But anyway, we'll have that all done and then we'll put up. I told them we put plastic or something up over the door, going into the hallway to the back bathrooms, and start turning them out. Cool. So, and it looks really, put, really pretty. If we'd had it put together, we'd, I'd ask them to move the meeting down there, but it's not put together. I thought about that too, but I was afraid of yeah, no. the fresh paint. Yeah, there, there's, to... there's nowhere to set right at the moment. <laughs> um, estimates for 4-H building. You want to go right now or later? Yeah, if you want to, yeah. Okay. Um, I've gotten. Three, well, two and a half. Well, they're decent one. I've gotten three for you guys. The one we had first from the Melton Brothers. And just don't discuss the amount. Okay. Right. You can discuss the proposal, just, and we all have a record here to view it. Yeah. Um, okay. So, anyway, I have three bids for that. Um, and you all have answered that question. I said I hadn't heard from soccer yet about their spring season. So now we have, we have that. Um, the director from Lincoln County 4-H, I've left messages and messages and, and can't get him, so I, I don't know what else to do. Contacted Mom Power about fixing the light over the pool and going around with me and looking at the poles and stuff, and I haven't heard from him yet either. Um, Amy Walker and the 4-H and I have set up their service date for April the 2nd. That's where the 4-H is going to come in and, and help us like clean the beds, clean the cabins, just a service day for, for her kids to get out and help. Um, I have one estimate so far for the, uh, well actually I have two, one word of mouth, one in paper, for the lighting for the dining hall. Um, we have one estimate for the landscaping in front of the dining hall. We've got, well, I 
shift gear. We have the application put in for St. Patrick's Day parade mini grants. Um, the veterans, the West Nestle Rock with the Veterans Memorial Association come in with their user agreement and asked that I would put number four in bold print and um, a couple other changes. So I've got it typed up ready for you to sign. Send back. Very good. That's it. Well, we need to go back to the business here. Um, any unfinished business that we haven't pretty much already got to? Okay. Uh, if there's no objection, I'd actually like to revisit new business to address some of these items here. Um, up first is the sign replacement, in, not in front of, but beside the uh, veteran memorial. Uh, if you all have noticed, it is in pretty bad shape. It does have a wood backing, so I mean, I, I believe a complete replacement would be in line. And Sally, I wanted to clarify that $450 for a new one, like the one now, but out of the material of the old rod, I'm assuming it's metal or? It's metal, sorry. <laughs> But they, they might you know want to do a plastic corrugated or something like that. Pretty sure it's in metal. Is he gonna be able to put our emblem on there? Yes. Cool. Why but the one should we have one for the front? All the front sign. Even if it's something fastened to the fence that looks somewhat nice or out of the old or something, we can find it. Might get a better deal while they're already doing one. Duplicated. Well, the, the one that's in the Big rock garden, percent they're better for more than up here. Right across the woods, that's right with the directions. Yeah. Right. Yeah, no, I, I don't have anything on that. But yeah, it, it, it just probably needs to be made. You want to make a motion on that? For the additional or? Well, at least include that? For the one or both, or however you want to make a motion. Yeah, I'd like to make a motion that we uh, replace the sign and maybe even acquire an additional one as well for the front that could be seen from Route 19. For the exact same thing, right? Two kinds okay. of both. Yeah. So that motion's on four, is there a second? I'll second. Okay, there's a second. Now is there any discussion? Uh, my only request, Sally, is we <coughs> contact him and Gary. This is your motion, so you can correct me if you don't want this. It's just, you know. If at least the second sign could be four fifty and or at least a little bit of a deal for buying a couple. Okay. You know, so the total would be no more than nine hundred, preferably. Maybe a little bit of a discount. Okay. <laughs> nice sign. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay. That motion's on the floor. Any further discussion? <laughs> Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those against? <laughs> motion does carry. Um, down to Craigsville Cap. Um, what I would like to do now that we have a serious taper on these cabins, uh, Sally, yes. is for us to come up with some sort of a agreement, contract, whatever you want to call it, laying out the work, uh, laying out, you know, they're going to be a, a licensed insured contractor. What's that? Scope of work of what we want them to do, and to the you know, it's kind of up to our approval on the specs so once the job's completed, and then you know, kind of the payment of advertisement. Um, I, did we talk about this before? Was we going to buy the signs because they did the work? I think that's fair. I mean, you know, have control over what's right. Yeah, I think we've discussed that before. Well, maybe see if Michael gives us a deal. So well, <laughs> let's get the cabin saying, done first. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. The more um, we order, maybe the cheaper they'll be. So maybe we could approve this, but then also go ahead and approve, you know, we set that structure in place of, you know, we oversee and like Craig said, the scope of work and everything. And then we get final approval and then also determine what size sign we want on all these cabins that do get the volunteer work. The Little League has been going to the Botech for our signs and they have pretty good prices on those. Okay. Um, I wonder if like a two by three, two foot by three foot would be more than enough for someone to see. Driving by, you know, something like that, driving to the park, you, know, you don't want to be too small, I guess, for, for the work we're putting in. Uh, 
but I think a two by three would be adequate. Two by three? Yeah. So, should we vote on Yeah. What I'd like to do is ask for a motion, and I guess I can even explain it, is that um, we approve construction on the cabins. Have we ever voted on that? Okay, we approve construction on the cabins, uh, volunteered by licensed contractors, um, the work being done in donation to the park uh, with our specs, our scope of work. Uh, in our final review, and then we will actually place the signs, order the signs ourselves, and place them on the cabins to recognize them for their work. So is anybody comfortable making that motion? Okay, that motion is on the floor. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Um, any discussion? Any questions, comments, concerns? Are the signs going to be placed on the buildings or in front? Well, that's something we could decide here. Um, I figured on the building would be easier. You know, one less thing to mow around. I really don't have a preference. I mean, you know, I mean. I think one of the building. I think it needs to be on the building. It's kind of like that. They have Uniform place on each one. Yeah. Um, Stand out more, I think, on that barrel barrel wall. And just, you know, remodel provided by uh, Jacob Construction. We can we can approve each sign before it's printed and put on there for each time this happens. Any other discussion? Anybody else got a cabin they want to get done? <laughs> well, we'll see here. Just one second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those against, motion does carry. Now to Chris Wire's proposal with Jacob Construction on Craigsville Cabin. Uh, as long as he approves, or as long as he agrees to the scope of work we provide him. Is there a motion to approve his uh, taking over that project? Excuse me, do you have to clarify this? Is he providing the sign under that circumstance? But I, I understood that he wanted to provide a sign to sign under that. No, he just wants a sign. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he just he wants a sign to be put up. Yeah, as long account. as he's got a sign acknowledging he don't care, he okay. puts it up there. Yeah. And, and you know, part of the script work and everything we send to him just says we we provide the sign, but we size it. We you know we just get a logo from him, and then we do whatever we want to. Okay. Put on the Anything else? Did you make a motion? Yes. Yeah. Was there a second? Sorry. <laughs> um, any further discussion? Hearing none. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those against. The motion does carry. And so, Sally, I'll get with you and see if we can come up with a scope of work and everything on that, and then uh, send that out for more approval before it's sent to Jacob Construction. Okay. Now, under scope of work, where you have some common things that you're going to do, like like replace mirrors, replace uh, faucets, things like that, you'll have a standard price that that's probably going to run. That way, they they're buying they're all of them look the exact same. Is that the, the, is that the ultimate desire? So, if you replace all the shower nozzles all through that they all look the same all the mirrors every are the same. cabin or just well, the, so. everything matches in that one cabin that's what i was trying to figure out what do you think <laughs> i think it's just unspec for it okay like like Eric says yeah. everything should have its own spec that way okay everybody gets the same thing and, and that's not even well we can do this one for all the cabs and it just applies to all of them equally and then one another contractor would come along and do it and then you can tell them about what things are going to cost as well it's like this is about what we've seen. Because right. this is what we need for that those cabins, and that's what they've done for the last cabin, and it's good for them. I think it's good for them. Craigsville is a little different because it has the hardwood floors. It has a different interior. That's true. So, so true. Yeah. When I keep as far as the historic of that cabin, that will have a slightly different scope. But yeah, all the other, all the other ones, they're all the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, we can do a standard on mm -hmm. spigots and LED light fixtures and right. fans, which is commodes or whatever we yeah, yeah. That they're all standard in every cabin. Yeah. And like I say, you know, that this will all be what we'll do is we'll just do a four crankful cabin right now. So you are right, it will be different from the rest. And then once another one comes along, another scope of work, we'll just need more improvement for those. Um, one using the square system it probably would be a good idea for us to make a vote on that the pool especially um all the 
cash and stuff they handle. And I think there's a cash drawer option where they can actually, um, there's a, it looks like an iPad, but it's not. And then there's also a uh, actual cash drawer that goes with it. Um, they can keep their money and stuff like that and not have to do paper records. Uh, again, it's just for a percentage. What's that? Yes, we do need paper records. Well, this provides a paper record. As long as they use the system, it's all okay. already there. It's already in a report. Okay. Um, but, uh, I think it's a good thing. What I mean, I, you know, if you want us to price up the equipment first, I understand that. Or if, you know, you are okay with the motion to approve using the system. Garrett, I will um, say that there are a lot of requests to use their bank card over there. Yeah. Yeah. Like no. no. Minimum purchase, though, to do a minimum purchase on that. Like we're not swiping it for a buck. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's a percentage on $1 yeah. or $2. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's usually about, I think, because I use it for my fireworks stand every year, and it's like 2.3 or 2.5 or mm -hmm. something like that. Right around 2. I thought I had better. I'll have to go look there. I don't know. There's not a per transaction fee when I use it, but it's a percentage. Yeah. And I think that's right. set up it's if you're talking about yeah. right. right. that's set up you're talking about, I think that's somewhere between thirteen right. and fifteen hundred dollars. Right. For the iPad right. and the drawer and all that stuff that brings mm -hmm. through. Right. right. And then pretty much the same set up for sale. I, I think they should just be the same. I mean, yeah, because because Sally, I'm sure a lot of people probably bring, bring cash for rentals and then also want to use their card just the same. Yep. Um, so I think it's a good thing. And like I say, it's whatever the board wants. If, we, if you want us to price us all out first, whatever, that's fine. Or if you want us to just go ahead and set it up, we can do that too. But I'll leave that up. Do you have any idea? Like you said, it's what? about $1,300 a set. So it'd be a $2,600 investment. But you get the reporting software, everything else, whether you spend a dollar a month or you bring in $10,000. Do you think the sales would be a little bit better if we did have it, Mary? Well, I know, I mean, there's been several times when I've been over there that they don't buy it because they don't have any cash. Or um, if they have a checkbook, they'll write a check to the pool and then they'll give them $20 or whatever they write their check for. Can you make a motion pending it doesn't exceed a certain amount? Oh, absolutely. Why don't we just say as long as it doesn't exceed 3000 motion and then we proceed with it. That's a good idea. Okay. If it does, then we revisit it. Okay. Okay. So you make that motion? Yeah. Okay. You got a second? I'll second. Got a second. Uh, any further discussion or questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say the by saying aye. Aye. All those against? The motion does carry. That's good. Thank you, Tim. I like that. Um, the 4-H renovation, so do you want to talk about what the general scope was on that or how do you want to, how do you want to approach that? I can go in here and get my list. I'll say I have to hear Do you? Okay. Because what I did was I took your inspections uh -huh. and I took her once, just combined them, made okay. my list and gave it to them. Okay. Um, Okay, and then you've seen that complete list from your end, my inspector, and that's all acceptable with you. Nice. Um, did, they have, did they give paper proposals? I mean, you know, that's paperwork and everything on all the proposals. One has so far. So maybe that's well, just table that. Two, two has. Um, right, the first two. Yes. And the other one, I guess, is an email to me I asked them if they have about this evening. Yeah. And I talked to him this evening. He's in a email to Keith Martin. Yeah. I like to have it. So Same. maybe, maybe for the price point, maybe get the two that you have and then the third one tomorrow and email to the board for us to review. Okay. And then maybe consider it next board meeting. Okay. Because there is a wide range there and I just don't want to unnecessarily jump the gun. Yeah. If there's no objection to that from the board. Okay. Did you need me to read this? No, is there any questions on the scope board? I mean, it's just it's more or less what we're doing on all the other buildings, just bringing it up to to a true standard and, and you know, new lighting, the bathrooms up there, paint the walls, wall repairs. Yeah. Which building is it? This, so those are the four inch. If you notice on Sally's uh, manager's report at the bottom of the page, uh, the two. Have the proposals by email. Yeah. All three. Yeah. Uh, Amy, on your 4 H uh, service date, uh, 
Is that something you're requesting? Helping the board with the public on, or is that mm -hmm. just your organization? Um, Sally uh, right now just wants to do 4-H, okay. see how we go, and then if it's something we may end up opening up to the public and say, you know, anybody, everybody come. Um, but right now, it'll just be for the 4-H. Sure. I just want to make sure that we need yeah, to just to see how it goes and if it's successful. <laughs> yeah. Now, on the estimates for the dining hall parking lot lighting, I know this is an issue, but I would like to wait on it also to get maybe a couple other bids on that before we decide on it. Um, do you have a mountain the other one you had on that? For the dining the hall parking lot lighting? If you could provide that also in an email. Okay. Both proposals okay. in a separate email, I guess, would be. Um, yeah, the second one he told me he would have in right by Monday. On the uh, lighting we did, was that to replace all the lights? On the exterior. On the exterior. The light up the um, yeah, to light up the front, the side. Same street lights, LED lights. LED lights.
fields themselves, uh, the concession stand, the bleachers, they're all getting redone, uh, made over, whatever's needed. Um, so I appreciate their efforts and, and everything that they are doing to make sure that part of the park looks better. Um, and I, I believe that's all I have. Is there any board comments? Hearing none, is there a motion to adjourn this regularly scheduled meeting of the Nichols County Parks and Recreation Commission? Somebody else want to make a motion? <laughs> okay, motion on the floor is a second. I'll second. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those against, motion does carry the same turn.